Okay, great. So, O oh Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Reveal among us the light of your presence. That we may behold your power and glory. Blessed are you, sovereign God of all, to you be praise and glory forever. In your tender compassion, the dawn from on high is breaking upon us to dispel the lingering shadows of night. As we look for your coming among us this day, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. <laughs> The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen. So, well, we've got a bit of a treat today with Psalm 121. Um, it's such a, I think it, it reads so well as a psalm. I think let's read it as one thing. Um, maybe Elizabeth, you'd like to read it for us. Psalm 121. I will lift up my eyes to the hills from where is my help to come. My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not suffer your foot to stumble. He who watches over you will not sleep. Behold, he who keeps watch over Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord himself watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. So that the sun shall not strike you by day, neither the moon by night. The Lord shall keep you from all evil. It is he who shall keep your soul. The Lord shall keep watch over you, your going out and your coming in, from this time forth and forevermore. Glory be Glory to the Father, and, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, now, and shall be forever. Amen. Well, what can we say? It's a lovely psalm, isn't it? Mm. One of my favourite psalms. Mm. Yeah, this little group are nice, aren't they? 122 is nice. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, no. Beautiful psalm speaks of exactly who God is and what he who, well who he is and what he does mm, totally is it is the songs for any particular reason or are they generally yeah they are like pre sort of some of the, like hymns uh, oh. that were sung and some of them are just you know prayers so it's the sort of ancient Jewish prayer book hymn book yeah 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 and um uh, mm -hmm. well who put them together i mean well they uh are believed to have been composed by different people david king david being yeah. a main author and <clears throat> i just think they were collected together over quite a long period they are just a collection of the hymn it's like a hymn book yeah yeah that the and uh so quite when it was sort of like cast in stone I'm not sure but a long long time ago mm. all right let's scroll down and oh we're going to read a bit of Malachi so uh Jenny would you like to read that for us I will Malachi 2 1 to 16 and now O priest this command is for you if you will not listen if you will not lay to heart to give glory to my name, says the Lord of hosts, then I will send the curse on you, and I will curse your blessings. Indeed, I have already cursed them, because you do not lay to heart. I rebuke your offspring and spread dung on your faces, the dung of your offerings, and I will put you out of my presence. Now then, that I have sent this command to you, so that my covenant 
with Levi may hold, says the Lord of hosts. My covenant with him, sorry. My covenant with him was a covenant of life and well-being, which I gave him. This called for reverence, and he revered me and stood in awe of my name. True instruction was in his mouth, and no wrong was swung in his lips. He walked with me in integrity and uprightness, and he turned many from iniquity. For the lips of a priest should guard knowledge, and people should seek instruction from his mouth. For he is the messenger of the Lord, host. But you have turned aside from the way. You have caused many to stumble by your instruction. You have corrupted the covenant of Levi, says the Lord of hosts. So I make you despise and abase before all the people, inasmuch as you have not kept my ways, but have shown partiality in your instruction. Have we not all one father? Has not one God created us? Why then are we faithless to one another, profaning the covenant of our ancestors? Judah has been faithless, an abomination has been committed in Israel and in Jerusalem. For Judah has profaned the sanctuary of the Lord, which he loves, and has married the daughter of a foreign god. May the Lord cut off the tents of Jacob from the tents of Jacob, anyone who does this, any to witness or answer, or to bring an offering to the Lord of hosts. And this do you do as well. You cover the Lord's altar with tears, with weeping and groaning, because he no longer regards the offering or accepts it with favor at your hand. You ask, why does he not? Because the Lord was a witness between you and the wife of your youth, to whom you have been faithless. Though she is your companion and your wife by covenant, did not one God make her, both flesh and spirit are his? And what does the one God desire? Godly offspring. So look to yourselves and do not let anyone be faithless to the wife of, your, of his youth. I hear divorce, says the Lord, the God of Israel, and covering one's garment with violence, says the Lord of hosts. So take heed to yourselves and do not be faithless. Okay. Uh, sorry, just ignore my phone. Um, this question rather sort of grim verses in it, hasn't it? Um, but, um, yeah. Well. We, yesterday we had the, the passage from Matthew that talks about divorce. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I think it's chapter 19 or something like that. You know the one I mean, anyway. Mm. <clears throat> and we had another passage from Malachi that seemed to be talking about the importance mm -hmm. of commitment in general. Mm. So they kind of went together. And now we've got this. I don't know why we've got all this together at this particular time, but. Um... No. Well, it's another passage on judgment, really, isn't it? Um, which, you know, is a theme of Advent. Right. And also, and also about faithfulness, really, because if God is, as you read in Psalms, he's God of everything and he guides us and loves us and blesses us. We should be faithful to him. Yes. And we should honor him. Yes. Yeah. So I think it, it is as much encouragement really to serve to serve God and to appreciate his love for us and yeah. the consequences if we don't. All right, let's scroll down then. Um, and we are reading a bit more from Matthew, only a short passage. Uh, but Leslie, would you read that for us? Yes, Matthew 19, verses 13 to 15. Then little children were being brought to him in order that he might lay his hands on them and pray. The disciples spoke sternly to those who brought them. But Jesus said, let the little children come to me and do not stop them, for it is to such as these that the kingdom of heaven belongs. And he laid his hands on them and went on his way. Well, that's a short but lovely passage, isn't it? 
<coughs> yeah. I mean, he's welcoming the children and also the childlike, I think, you yeah? know? So we could all do with being a little bit more childlike, however old we are, yeah? We never lose our inner child and we should let her or him out a little bit more. Into our you might have a shock, Marty. <laughs> I think it would be a, quite a pleasant shock to see it. I love to um, see a little more of the children within within you all. Yeah. But but you see too much of mine, and it causes no end of trouble. Well, it's actually it's actually a good thing. It's a good thing. Yeah, I go. I keep on asking silly questions like why. Yeah, which is a good thing. That's a good thing. So, yeah. Let your inner child, um, yeah. Well, my mother's was absolute. My, my mother's inner child was really, really um, quite naughty. <laughs> okay. I had almost awful trouble. <laughs> but <with it. laughs> okay. All right. Let's scroll down then. Now it is time to awake out of sleep. For the night is far spent, and the day is now is our salvation nearer than when we first believed. For the night is far spent. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and put on the armour of light. For the day is at hand. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh. For the night is far spent, and the day is at hand. So let's pray then. Lord, uh, we do thank you for this day and um, all the opportunity that it gives us to um, enjoy your world and to connect with our brothers and sisters and to reflect your love and hope in the world around us. We pray for healing and wholeness for baby Felix Boaz, Teresa, Norna Adapitan, Jen Arnold Culliford, Jenny Figaro, uh, Christopher and Vivian Golis, Chris Hargreaves, Sean Hunt, John and Pilar Irvin, Pete Jadhav, Dagmar Yankovikova, Maureen Kelly, Anna Lee, Aleda Salas, Hilary Ward, Toy Weathered, um, and the family and friends of Peter Woods. Lord, bring comfort and strength in the power of Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the children in my life. Yes. And for the pleasure and the happiness they bring, Lord. Thank you in particular today for the Shaker family. But Lord, I ask for guidance. For many people have an inner child, but it is damaged, Lord. And mm. where I see this, help me, Lord, to find the words to heal and help and mm. to bring joy in place of sadness. Mm. Also today, Lord, I ask you to be with my dear friend Isabel as she faces an operation in Korea. She has waited for this operation for a long time, Lord, and she is suffering. Ease her fears, Lord. Help her to rest. For, Lord, I know that you will bring her through this day. Thank you, Lord, for your blessing, for your grace. Amen. Amen. And not looking. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for your love. Thank you, Lord, for your graciousness and calling us your children. Thank you, Lord, for being our Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord, for loving us with an everlasting love. Thank you, Lord, for your word and the encouragement in your word that we could come to you, Lord, and we could express our faith, our childlike faith, because for such is the kingdom of heaven. So, Lord, we just come to you with grateful hearts that we have an opportunity to approach you each day 
and throughout the day, Lord, to be thankful and grateful for your blessings. And as we receive your blessings, Lord, that we'll be able to demonstrate it to others and be of encouragement to others as well. So thank you for your grace. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering our prayers. And thank you, Lord, for always making provision for us and for loving us no matter what. Lord, we just want to pledge our lives in um, obedience to your will. Lord, to have that communion with you and that walk, that closeness with you. So thank you for your grace. This is each here this morning. And Lord, we pray not only for ourselves here, here in this in this group, but also, Lord, for your, all your children the world over. Thank you, Lord, for your mercies again. With thanksgiving, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God, our Redeemer, who prepared the Blessed Virgin Mary to be the mother of your Son, grant that as she looked for his coming as our Saviour, so we may be ready to greet him when he comes again as our Judge who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Awaiting his coming in glory as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Amen. Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come and will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us and not into temptation, temptation, but deliver but us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of you, now and forever. Amen. May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thank you, be to God. God. Amen. Amen. Well, that was a great start to the day. So have a very good day, everyone. And um, yep, see you a bit later. Okay. Sorry, I disappeared. My eye.